Hello everyone, I am Soumya this side and please subscribe me guys if you have not already subscribed. Your one subscription means a lot to me and in today's video I am going to do the tutorial for creating uh, an agent ready flow. Okay, so this is part of agent customization with flows and I am in the uh, becoming an agent laser legend. Okay, so I I am inside this create an agent ready flow. Okay, so let's do first of all you have to make a deck or like you make for any hands-on okay and uh, you will get a reset password on your email and then you can go and reset your password and uh, then let's follow the steps what they are saying so first of all we have to create a flow here okay and that will be an auto launch flow and in that flow we have to create one input variable and two output variables okay so first let's do this so now I am inside the flow uh, so I will click on new flow okay when we click on new flow there comes an option of auto launch flow with no trigger so I'm going to click on this and here we are going to first of all create some resources so the uh, uh, first we will create uh, first I'm going to create an input resource so the name of the resource is uh, sorry input variable the name of the variable is booking ID and then the description is this so they are saying that they are going to check the description so be sure that you are copying it and then the data type is text so now this is for input so i am selecting here available for input okay if we are creating an output variable then we will select here available for output so i am going to do done here and then now new resource again and variable so here i will select this uh, as available for output now the name is uh, error message output uh, let's copy this name and then we have this description so let's copy sorry this description I think I copied this also okay and then the data type is again text and this is available for output okay now again we are going to create a new resource and it will be a variable okay and this is updated booking record so let's go here and in the description uh, let's copy this description and the data type is record so let's do this and then the object here is uh, booking okay so the object is booking and then available for output because this is the output one okay so now what we created we created a one input variable okay and two output variables so input variable update did booking and then these two booking id and error message output okay beautiful now let's move on so they are saying that um, we have to create an element okay so now we have to create an element and the name of the element is this okay so let's copy the name of the element how do we create elements we create elements by clicking on this plus okay and we for uh, now before we were creating variables so we create variables from here and now uh, element i'm going to click on this okay so now uh, what they are saying is that uh, uh, cancel um, sorry one minute yeah add an update record element right so I will select here update record so here we got the update record and this is the label they are saying cancel selected okay and then um, they are saying the description is update the booking record so uh, that it's cancelled this sets the field cancel to true okay and now uh, what we have to select specify conditions to identify this one okay and what is the object object is booking and then we will set some conditions okay so let's select the booking object and now the conditions they are saying that in the conditions all conditions are met so this is true and the record ID equals to booking ID okay so here we will say a record ID equals to booking ID so let's do booking ID okay so record ID equals to booking ID and then set field value is cancelled true okay so we'll con add the condition again is cancelled equals to and here we will say true okay so I think this is done uh, sorry one minute one minute I added this in condition I have to delete it okay so this is the uh, I have to add it here okay this is for the set field value yeah 
so uh, i think this is done so this is how we created an element and now they are asking us to create another element maybe and this is a cancel selected booking okay add a get record uh, okay after the uh, so now we have to select the get records element okay and i am going to um, copy this label so this is done let's close it again one element and uh, this is the get records one again now the label is this let's copy the description this is the description and object is booking okay and uh, again the conditions record id goes to booking id so record id sorry it goes to booking id okay and then uh, how many records in store only the first record and then um, how to record store the record um choose fields and assign variables advance so let's do this one okay and then together in a record variable so here i'm going to select this variable okay and now we have to select the fields so fields will be experience name date start time is cancelled okay experience name uh, date okay start time okay is cancelled great okay so we have these four and now they are saying that we have to add a fault path which is coming from the cancel okay so let's close this we have these two elements and now we have to add a fault path so for adding the fault path you have to click on this three dot icon okay and here you will get these copy element cut element delete so i am going to add a fault and now uh, uh they are saying add fault and this is the label okay so here for the label again you have to select this and you will say that assignment label because we have to assign here value right so this is the label and then description is this okay so this is the description and in the variables we are saying error message output equals so this is the error message output and uh, there is a uh, i am sorry i am having uh, uh, this is the value which we have to set okay so let's set this value now um, this is the operator right uh, this is the fault path so we are doing some error handling here and uh, now uh, they are saying that we need to um, this is done right we need to add a fault path coming from get uh, updated booking detail element also okay so let's do here this is the get updated booking one now i'm going to do again add fault path okay so now what they're saying is connect the get updated booking detail element fault path okay to the set the error output fault path okay uh yeah so the error handling is same basically for both of them okay so we, we don't need to define again uh, this error message okay so the error message will be same they are saying so what we have to do we will connect this fault path and this fault path so this is going in end right here you can see that here this is going to end so instead of this we have to connect this thing to this one so that there should be a linking of these these two things right so let's see how we can do that so for do for doing that we will just click on this plus and here it will give us this connect to element so we have to select this connect to element and after doing this with which element we have to connect okay we have to select that element so here we are talking about this one so i am going to select it so now you see that this is connected to this okay so this is what we have to do now we can save it and the uh, label name okay so now i'm saving it this is the label name and description also they have i think yeah so this is the description so okay let's save it and then after saving please don't forget to activate the flow otherwise uh, you will not be able to you know uh, like complete the hands-on so let's activate this flow okay so this is activated and now let's check our challenge and please utilize this time to subscribe me guys your one subscription means a lot to me so please subscribe me
okay let's see uh, that if we have covered this talent i i hope it is successfully done okay what they're saying in the booking id variable we can't find the expected description okay okay maybe uh booking id sorry where they're saying in the booking id variable okay so booking id variable was this much right oh yeah this is incomplete right okay wait i think i just uh let's check once again so booking id was the first one right okay so the id of the activity uh the id of the the booking id update the record oh i don't think this is the description they are saying description is this right so okay let's change it because uh, they are saying they are expecting this okay so what we will do is because this is designed like this okay so what i have done is i have just copied whatever they are saying in the booking id and i'll done it okay and i'll um sorry click on um, um i think save as new version should i do uh okay we can save as new version like a new flow i don't know wait uh this is active right mm -hmm. why it is not running i don't know uh okay wait okay this is good we can save as a new version that's okay so uh, now uh, we are going to activate it let's activate it okay so now let's take this challenge actually what we did is correct only but uh, uh, somehow uh, i think they have configured because they are saying for booking id right booking id is this and for booking id the description is this only uh, so in the booking id variable again they are saying we can't find the expected description within the booking id update the Why they are saying this? I think uh, so. First of all, they are expecting this description. This description is not for the booking ID variable. Why they are saying this? Uh, wait in the booking id variable right they're saying in the booking id variable only within the booking records id update the booking record uh okay then um one minute maybe wait uh let's choose this only uh let's do this again wait let me do this okay and then done and then save as new version save okay and then activate so now let's see if it is done or not this is this actually this problem should not arise i don't know uh what's wrong here uh um, booking id booking id description is this okay let's see if again the error comes maybe let's see oh yeah it is done okay so maybe there was some space mistake or something like that yeah okay thank you guys for watching me and please subscribe me guys bye bye